Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll spend just a few minutes talking about those saggy bellies. Does your cat have one? Is the belly saggy because your cat is overweight or is it something else? In truth, that flabby pouch that tends to swing from side to side is known as the primordial pouch. As your feline grows into adulthood, it begins to become more and more pronounced. This is true regardless of gender. Although some cats and some specific breeds have more of an obvious pouch than others. Before we take a closer look at those saggy bellies and this unique pouch, let's first explore today's topic overview. The primordial pouch is seen in many different cat breeds. It is located towards the rear of a cat's body along the length of its stomach. The pouch protects a cat's organs from predators and other cats during a fight. It also helps cats to extend when running as well as twisting and turning while jumping. It is thought that the primordial pouch is also used to store food. This is most common in wild cats that have to find their own food and don't know when their next meal is coming. So, the pouch has multiple purposes. It's a protection pad of sorts that can help to beef up some rather sensitive areas. This extra layer of skin can also enable your cat to fulfill its athletic potential, longer strides and sharper twists and turns, and... The pouch is somewhat of an energy saver, a storage point for nutritional needs. Now, even with the obvious presence of the primordial pouch, your cat could still be overweight, and this could contribute to the definition of the pouch in terms of the shape. The sagging belly really has no relevance in terms of actual obesity. The two are not connected. So, if your cat is rather large and has a saggy belly, what you're seeing is not the result of either weight loss or weight gain, and that's important to note. And before we get rocking and rolling here today, something else that's very important to note, and that's you. Hello and welcome to the best audience on the feline wing of the internet. Thank you so much for making Senior Cat Wellness what it is today. You are the backbone, and none of this is possible without you. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. It is our mission to serve the feline community and do it with a kind heart and a smile. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again in future content. Now, let's talk about saggy bellies, the primordial pouch, and everything in between. Let's go. As we mentioned in our intro, the primordial pouch has a few very important functions. While they're rather simple to describe, the purposes they serve are vital, not only with respect to your cat's agility, but in many ways, life itself. Let's start with that organ protection. Is your cat not a big fan of being on its back? Does your pet squirm and twist to get out of that position? An exposed belly can be dangerous, and your cat knows all about those dangers. That position is not a good defensive posture. However, the pouch can add a quality layer of protection. The primordial pouch serves to shield a cat's vital organs during a fight or a fall. This thick extra layer of skin can make for a good pad of resistance. Next up is that athleticism we mentioned earlier. Healthy cats are the picture of athleticism. That saggy belly can help your cat to maneuver and execute all of those flexible feats of greatness. And the last vital role of the pouch is that of food storage. Extra fat is critical for energy and overall stamina. Think of this as the ultimate plan B when actual food is somewhat scarce. Your cat has a bit of a backup battery right there in the belly region. We've often mentioned the whole survival of the fittest mantra when it comes to cats, and the primordial pouch serves as yet another example. However, this time, instead of something instinctual, it's physical. There is a theory that suggests that cats with a strong warrior gene had this saggy belly pouch that we've talked about here today. And through evolution, the breeds that once relied on their low-hanging belly to survive still have the pouch to this very day. So, what are these breeds? Hmm, clue us in. It should be noted that not all breeds have a distinct saggy belly. However, 
The primordial pouch can be quite prominent in the pixie bob, Egyptian Mao, Persian, Japanese bobtail, and the bingle. Drop me a line in the comment section below and let me know if you own any of these breeds. Is the saggy belly quite prominent and apparent? Please let me know in that comment section. Thanks. If you're unsure if your cat has a saggy belly due to the pouch or is just legitimately large <laughs> due to being overweight, there are a few ways that you can tell the difference. If your cat is hefty, the large belly that you see will not jiggle. The saggy belly or the primordial pouch will jiggle and sway from side to side back and forth as your cat walks as only a minimal amount of fat is contained within the pouch. Look down on your cat. If your cat is of average weight, you won't see the primordial pouch because it hangs directly underneath the belly. In contrast, if your cat is indeed overweight, the undercarriage will be more rounded and filled out. You'll be able to see it filling the sides of your cat's frame. Your cat will look round from all angles and will feel hefty and heavy and solid. The pouch, well, it feels more like loose skin. And let's talk about ribs. If your cat is obese, the ribs will be hidden under the layer of fat. You won't be able to see them or feel them. The primordial pouch, however, will not impact the ribs from either a visual or sensation standpoint. If you are concerned about your cat's weight and you've become a bit alarmed by your pet's belly size, we invite you to take your cat to the vet for a checkup. Even if your cat is of a breed with a prominent primordial pouch, it's important to make sure that your cat is maintaining a healthy weight. And on that note, that will close things out for the video side of life and the topic of saggy bellies. However, if you'd like to know more about this topic as a whole in the primordial pouch, we do invite you to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more, a bit more belly info for you. And you can find our written content by clicking the initial link in the description box below. And once again, if you enjoyed what we brought to the table here today and would like to see and hear more, Please like and share this video and subscribe to the SeniorCatWellness.com official YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.